Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today, I would like to talk about a very common questions from my student about why the surface in the render view looks so zigzag. Would that affect my 3D printing? Let's talk about this in this short video. Are you ready? Let's get started. You may have the situation for something look really weird and spiky in the Rhino and I wanted to answer this simple questions today uh, in this short video. So that's starting from the scratch. Let's say you have an extrusion something like this, everything is nice and flat and you want to go into use the twist command and gonna select this one. I want to starting with the zero point and holding my uh, mouse to somewhere there and I simply just going to rotate it 100 actually 360 degree and we get something like that now in my view of the ghost view they look pretty nice right it doesn't have too much of the folding things like that but when I turning into the render view all of a sudden I see this crazy spiky things going on is it going to affect my printing it's actually not if you take a look on the shade mode you might still see a little bit there and all of this is the rendering uh, things in the Rhino preset so let's go back to the ghost view and we're gonna coming into this option right here under the option if you go into the top right here you have something called mesh right and what is this and let me set it up in the render view first so when you take a look on this you have the jagged and faster and if you hit preview you're going to see this triangle is much much bigger and much visible if you go into the smooth and slow uh, slower and then you preview it you can see that triangle getting more refined right but we still see it in this texture now if you go into the custom then this is like uh, the mesh how coarse or how um, how dense you want it if you hit preview you, you set it really low number then close to the zero then you're gonna see this is more obvious this is more zigzag but if you we set it for one and preview you're going to see almost it's hard to see I mean you still see a little bit there right if you like to not want to see anything there you can come in into the detail right now this is the detail for you to to change you can change the density from zero to one one is already to be refined and you can also change the minimum maximum there now the maximum h length if we do 0 0.01 and let's take a look on it and see if there's some different now I have to warn you I mean this is going to slow down your computer a lot so let's see what happened so what happened if we want to change this uh, if we stay in maximum is one and let's preview it and you're going to see it's already really really fine there all right if you can change the maximum into the smaller number uh, it might be get even more fine so that uh, final surface let's take a look on this one it's almost like you barely can see anything right there right you cannot see any it, and it is really smooth even though you apply other material you will look the same let's take a look on other view let's take a look on the shaded mode it is really smooth there as well but one thing I wanted to remind you the more that you have a rhino to calculate it for the view uh, to see the slower your computer going to run and this is like a quite simple shape there so it might not affect it that much but that may slow down your computer so a lot of time in the preset rhino has this for smooth and slow and slower or the jacket and the faster which you will see those line there but at the same time um, it is gonna make your computer run faster all right so I hope I answer your questions and to remind you this is not gonna affect your printing it's just affect the look on your render view want to learn more tips and tricks for my Rhino technique join the membership that is going to bring you a lot of more my secret thank you for watching and I'll see you next